Hi everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to demo how to dynamically generate CI configurations for a parent-child pipelines. A typical scenario would be when we have a parent pipeline that at runtime generates some, some configurations and then we take these configurations uh, that are being created as artifacts as we're going to see and we feed them to child pipelines which will run as independent uh, pipelines. So we're going to start from a typical GitLab CI YAML file. In this case, I have uh, two stages, one called setup and a triggers. Uh, in this setup config, um, stage, we have a generate config job that is composed of um, the generate config script, which I'm going to show is a simple Ruby script that um, generates two files. Uh, called service a config and service b config in service a config we're going to have two simple jobs service a1 and service a2 and in the um, uh, service uh, b um, pipeline we're going to have service b1 and service b2 so we're going to see that these files actually don't exist in the repository uh, so we only have a readme this generate config and the gitlab ci yaml and um, after that, running the after running the generate config uh, script, we are going to double check that with git status that new files have been added uh, in the local uh, directory, and then we're gonna cut the two uh, files just to to show the um, uh, the content of these files. Uh, we are setting these files to be as artifacts, so will they will be uploaded, um, and then what we could do in the next stage, the trigger stage, we have two uh, separate trigger jobs. One that triggers uh, service A pipeline and another one that triggers service B pi pipeline. These two use the new trigger include syntax which will generate a child pipeline. But the difference is that we are going to specify um, the, YAML, the input YAML file to be provided by artifact from a very specific job which is the generate config. Um, so let's see uh, what this looks like when we run a pipeline. So uh, I have here the pipeline, so I'm going to generate, uh, run a new one, and I'm going to specify the right branch. So what are we going to see here? We have, so I'm going to refresh this just to see uh, if it progresses immediately uh, so we have the generate config that ran and provided this the input to configuration files for trigger service a trigger service b and we can see these are already running as child pipelines this is already passed and this is passed already so um, so what we're going to see is that uh, if we have a look at the generate config uh, job we have the we run the generate config we have the the git status so that shows that new two new files were uh, generated the content of these two files and they have been then pro uploaded as artifacts and if we refresh we actually see that um, everything gets completed as expected 